वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट सॉलिडिफिकेशन ऑफ प्योर मैटर सो बेसिकली सॉलिडिफिकेशन ऑफ प्योर मैटर इट विल बी कंजिस्टिंग विथ अ कूलिंग कॉस सो लेट अस सी अंडर द इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशंस All the pure metals exhibit a definite melting or freezing point. So, in case of pure metal, which will be having a single melting point and freezing point, or you can say same melting point and freezing point, because it will be considering as a hundred percent pure metal. So, melting point generally it will be representing as a temperature at which solid phase it will be converting into liquid phase for the freezing point that liquid phase of the pure metal it will be solidified at which temperature so that temperature it will be called as a freezing point so in case of pure metal both the melting point and freezing point it will be having a same temperature so the term under the equilibrium conditions that means that it is extremely slow heating and slow cooling so in this theory we are more focusing on to the extremely slow cooling of the pure matter so it will be the talking about solidification of pure metal by some of the cooling curves let us see cooling curve for pure metal a cooling curve means when a metal or alloy so here it will be the case of pure metal or you can say 100% single metal so which is allowed to cool down from its molten state so that would be the liquid phase it solidified gradually with respect to time so if all the temperatures are recorded over a regular interval of the time so the cow shows the such a variations are obtained so that will be the graphical representations of the different phases for the pure metal with the different set of conditions of the temperature with respect to time so that temperature time it will be called as a cooling curve so let us see this x axis it will be representing as a time and y axis that will be representing as a temperature in degree centigrade so for the cooling curve of pure matter let us see here it will be the metal a so according to the given definition of melting point and freezing point so melting point that will be temperature at which all the solid phase of metal a that will be converting into liquid phase so let us take a one temperature let's take it it will be ta temperature so that will be called as a melting point so at ta temperature above all the metal a it will be having a liquid phase so just you can see here it will be temperature t a so from above temperature t a up to the this so that will be t a 1 so just you can see here at higher temperature all the atoms of metal a which will be having a liquid state so just it will be look like as a liquid state so once it will be touch the ta temperature so that will be a melting point or you can say it will be the freezing point so from higher temperature to melting points or you can say the equilibrium conditions like as a slow cooling so from this temperature to this temperature so that will be temperature is fall down with respect to the time 
so just you can see so the cooling from this point or you can say point number A to B it will be having a hundred percent liquid so the below portion of this it will be representing as a liquid phase so once it will be touched the point B or you can say the freezing point so the solidification begins so just you can concentrate over solidification begins so here just you can see your liquid phase of any metal here taken as a metal A which will be the starting point of the solidifications so from above this what happens it will be having a hundred percent liquid so just you can see if the microstructure for A to B region so that will be representing as a hundred percent liquid so once it will be touch the point number B or you can say at your freezing point of your metallic materials according to your selected materials it will be having a starting point of the solidification or you can say solidification start so in the solidification process it will be the formation of nuclei so nuclei that will be considering as a tiny particles of your metal A so just you can see here that will be the formation of nuclei and rest of the other it will be the liquid so once it will be touched the point B the formation of nuclei and nuclei having a growth with respect to the time of the solidification process so at constant temperature solidification process up to with respect to some time it completes your so total solidification process so here that would be the point number C so this point it will be representing as a solidification end so just you can concentrate at point number C if you interested to mix a microstructural view so just you can see So all the liquid phase of the metal A which will be completely converting into the 100% solid. So at point C it forms 100% solid and solid that will be having atomic structure of metal A. So in between that will be the transformation from liquid to solid or you can say in case of the solidification of pure metal it always followed at the constant temperature at that temperature it will be representing as a freezing point so just you can see after point C what happened once again the solid phase at point C it will be cooled down up to the room temperatures so just you can see so once again the solid phase it will be converting into the solid or you can say 100% solid so in that case of the C to D the rearrangement of the structure of the solid material A so the microstructure of C to D that will be so just you can see it will be the grain and which will be separated by grain boundary so C to D once again it will be considering as a hundred percent solid material so the important part of the solidification of pure metal so it will be in the region of B to C so B to C that will be the phase transformation from hundred percent liquid to hundred percent solid so in between B to C it will be the formation of two different phases so liquid plus solid so at initially that will be the 10% of solid then the solidification process is going on with respect to the time so that 10% it will be converting up to here it will be the 50% here it will be 90% of the solid 
and at point C it will be representing as a hundred percent of the solid so from C to D it will be look like this total solid materials so suppose I want to representing A to B it will be hundred percent liquid B to C that will be the liquid plus solid and C to D that will be hundred percent solid now according to the Gibbs phase rule one can find out the degree of freedom of each portion or you can say each solid replication process from A to B, B to C and C to D. So which kind of degree of freedom is being present and validate the Gibbs phase rule for the solid replication on pure matter. So let us start with the Gibbs phase rule. So here we are considering the Gibbs phase rule and that will be the modified Gibbs phase rule. So let us see P plus F that will be equal to C plus 1. So here we are considering that only temperature and compositions it will be changed. The, the whole the process it will be from the constant pressure process. So let's take as a Gibbs modified rules as a P plus F that will be equal to C plus 1. 1. Starting with the region A to B. So according to the Gibbs phase rule, P that will be representing as a phase. So for A to B region, it will be the liquid phase or you can say single liquid phase or you can say 100% liquid. So P is equal to 1. F that will be representing as a degree of freedom. So F. C that will be representing as a component system. So here only talking about the pure metal so it will be considering as a single component system. So C is equal to one single and plus one. So here that will be F is equal to one. So just yes, we can write down like this F is equal to one. So it will be means that only a single variables is present for the A to B regions. So what happens? Only temperature is dropped down with respect to your time. So temperature is being changed without changing the compositions because here it will be the only single metal or you can say pure metal is being used. So F means it will be the degree of freedom. So only one single degree of freedom is being present for the region A to B. Now we will see for B to C. So once again P plus F that will be equal to C plus 1. So P means number of phase. So for B to C regions it will be liquid plus solid. Whatever percentage it will be not affect but it will be in between B point to C point it will be two phase liquid plus solid. So P is equal to 2. F C component system so here it will be the pure metal so 1 plus 1 so F is equal to 0 so just you can note down F is equal to 0 F is equal to 0 it means that will be constant temperature process so at constant temperature all the 100% liquid phase of pure metal which will be converting into 100% solid. So F is equal to 0 means it will be the constant temperature solidification process. So just you can concentrate solidification of pure metal. So with the different analytical ways it will be the constant temperature solidification process. Now for region C to D, just you can see. So for C to D, P is equal to 100% solid. So it will be considering as a single phase. So P is equal to 1. So 1 plus F that will be equal to C plus 1. So C that will be once again for pure metal it will be single phase. So 1 plus 1. So F is equal to 1. So just you can note down for C to D region it will be F is equal to 1. So F is equal to 1 means what happens? 
the temperature drop down without changing the solid phase so that solid phase it will be formed at point C it will be in the form of the solid at point D but it will be just rearrangement of the structure and changing the temperature with respect to time so that will be also validated by the Gibbs phase rule the solidification of pure metals it will be only occurs at the constant temperature or you can say in simple way solidification of pure metal it will be constant temperature solidification process so I hope you understand the total solidification of pure metal with the different cooling cause and that will be validated by the Gibbs phase rule so if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.